It is a pleasure that you are with me again. I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. When do puppies lose baby teeth? Let's start. Dogs have two sets of teeth just like us. Permanent adult teeth and puppy teeth, also known as deciduous teeth. Puppies have 28 teeth, while adult dogs have 42 teeth, 20 at the top and 22 at the bottom. Humans have 20 teeth as babies and 32 as adults. Puppy teeth begin to erupt at 3 weeks of age and fully appear by 6 weeks. They start losing those baby teeth between 12 and 13 weeks of age, and by 6 months they will have lost all of their baby teeth. Some teeth are designed for grasping, some for holding, some for cutting, and some for grinding. The entire range of teeth is represented in milk and adult teeth. Puppy teeth are much sharper than adult teeth. If you've ever had a puppy, you'll notice that their teeth are extremely sharp and needle-like. 1. When do puppies lose their baby teeth? Puppies start losing their baby teeth around 3 months of age, usually starting with the front teeth. By 4 or 5 months of age, most of the baby teeth should be out and the molars are starting to come in. By 6 months of age, all of the baby teeth should have erupted and most of the permanent teeth should be in place. 2. What do a puppy's teeth look like when they fall out? Deciduous teeth are small, brittle, and often hard to find when they fall out. Most owners don't even notice that, their pup, has lost a tooth. They can fall on the ground or the puppies will swallow them, which is not a problem. Baby teeth do not usually discolor when they fall out. While they can sometimes lose their shine when they're about to fall out, a discolored puppy tooth could be infected or dead and should be evaluated by your vet. 3. Does the teething process differ according to race? Smaller breed dogs such as Chihuahuas and Yorkshire Terriers are notorious for developing impacted baby teeth, a condition where puppy teeth fall behind or fail to come out. Impacted baby teeth can lead to malocclusions, where the teeth become misaligned. There should never be two teeth in the place of one tooth. By around six months of age, the entire teething process should be complete and any missing, misshapen, or abnormally located teeth should be investigated. Impacted teeth and abnormal bites called malocclusions can be a big problem and are much easier to treat if caught early. 4. Behavior of a teething dog. During puppy teething, you will likely notice increased biting and chewing activity. It's normal for them to want to chew on the corner of your couch, so it's important to prevent access to inappropriate chew toys and redirect them to the right options. Some puppies may be in pain, feel a bit depressed and, although rare, may even experience a mild fever at the peak of the rash. Most puppies don't have any symptoms. 5. Symptoms of puppy teething. Although puppy teething is usually an ongoing process, some dogs may exhibit the following symptoms. Increased chewing. Pain and discomfort. Red or swollen gums. Lethargy. When puppy teeth start to fall out, you'll likely notice your dog chewing and biting more and more. On some occasions, you may notice a drop of blood on a food dish or a toy, but they generally do well with teething. 6. How to help a teething puppy. Provide chew toys. Teething puppies love to chew, which has the added benefit of aiding the process. Avoid toys that are too hard. Some chew toys that are considered appropriate may be too hard for puppies during the teething process. Try offering him frozen treats. Frozen treat toys work great for teething. Pay attention. Never leave a puppy unattended with any chewable object for long periods of time. This is especially true of socks and rags. Start good habits early. Get new puppies used to having their mouths and lips touched and handled. Start by lightly rubbing your finger on your gums, then gently lift your lips. By doing this at a young age, you get used to proper dental care. If you notice any unusual symptoms or aren't sure if a behavior or symptom is normal, it's always a good idea to talk to your vet. It is a pleasure to inform you and help you, if you have not subscribed to the channel you should do it now, take care of yourself and your furry friend, a hunt, and until the next video.